firefighters struggled to control this blaze in a building housing a Masonic Lodge and some businesses. This man had to flee his office in a neighboring building. I came out, it was just kind of smoke, but then it went up and up. Uh, currently, the, the fire is deemed to be suspicious, yes. Minutes earlier, at another Masonic Hall, another suspicious fire. The first was here, on Vancouver's North Shore. The second nearby, within minutes of the first blaze. About 30 minutes later, one more, this time in Vancouver. That's where an eyewitness spotted this. He just set the field building on fire. He's getting into a black van. This video posted to social media shows a man carrying a gas can. Then a police officer arrives. There's a cop here. The he pulls a gun on the suspect. The man ignores the officer's orders. They are fighting. They are fighting right now. Yeah. Eventually, the man fights off the officer and drives away. He went down East 29th Avenue on the west side, down westward. Yeah, he was fighting with the officer, yes. Vancouver police said the officer in the video was off duty when he tried to make the arrest. As for the, the centers being targeted, that's, I, I'm not aware of any um, specific threats or any past threats. They aren't confirming a 42-year-old man later taken into custody was the one shown in the video. But an investigation spanning multiple jurisdictions is looking at why Masonic lodges were apparently targeted. A review of any history involving uh, the locations that were targeted uh, would be part of that investigative process. But at this time, we don't know. We would like to know and, and we hope we will find out. Police say no one was injured in the fires, but damage was considerable. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.